Tempo has reached critical level. Jumping right on into the tutorial, you're going to need some thread and needle, your old weave and hair that you're going to be using. Of course, you need a closure because closures make everything brand new and then you need a wig cap. So I'm just going to wear the cap on the mannequin head and then after that, I'm going to pin it down in place. After pin down in place, I'm going to take my thread and needle and then I'm going to secure it with a hair clamp. I will just take my thread and needle and then I'm going to sew it down. After sewing down the closure, I'm going to take my hair and then I'm just going to measure it to see how I can position it and then go ahead to pin it down and start sewing it up so like i do with all my videos uh to sew this wig you're just going to do one one under you wrap it around two times and then you bring the needle off so that it locks down in place anyways i'm just going to keep doing that for a while i'm going to do that all over there and then i'm going to come back later and show you guys So I've done a considerable amount of the hair and uh, right now I'm just going to keep sewing using the same method. I'm going to sew the hair down again and guys if you want a detailed tutorial I have two on my channel maybe even three so I'm going to link them down and then you go check it out okay. Yeah so I'm just going to keep sewing the hair I'm just showing you guys like some parts of it uh, I'm just going to keep sewing the wig down And then I'm going to go on ahead and sew like the last track really really close by the closure. Uh, so this is how the wig should look like when you're finished and then right now I'm just going to take my tweezers I'm going to use a comb to braid my hair and then take my tweezer out and tweeze the fuck out of this hairline sorry no cuss words yeah I'm going to tease this hairline and I'm just going to do that by teasing from the front and from the back I'm going to go in with my bleach and developer and I'm going to use a 2 is to 1 mixture 2 pumps of developer for 1 spoon of bleach and then I'm going to mix everything and just bleach the hair I'm so sorry I lost the first footage when I actually bleached this hair the first time so it's basically the same thing you put your alum aluminum foil and then you just bleach and cover it up and check it from time to time and when it's ready like the way you want it you go ahead and just wash it off and then I'm going to use the same mixture but the, like the reverse two, two spoons of bleach for one pump of developer and then I'm going to use that and put it where my closure is to bleach the knot and then i'm just going to go and rinse everything out in the sink 
I'm going to use some purple shampoo on the bleach parts and also on my closure to use the purple shampoo I made in the other video I'm going to link it up and then I'm going to use this other purple shampoo I got because that purple shampoo was not doing anything and then I'm going to just rinse it out I have a video on how I wash my wigs so you guys should go check that out I'm going to link it as well So this is my wig now when it's dry I'm just going to go ahead and start straightening out the wig to make it into a blunt cut so first you're just going to brush out the hair and then you're going to use your straightener and make it straight uh, I lost some footage again I lost some footage again but it's basically the same thing I'm going to do so I'm just going to show you some parts of it of how I did it. I'm going to use my straightening iron and then I'm going to use a comb and chase. I'm going to do the chasing method. As you can see the hair looks brand new. It looks silky. It looks healthy. Okay. So you guys should you know take off your hair again. I have a video on that. So you guys should go and check it out. Okay. I mean like. I'm just here serving you all you need to know about hair. Anyway, so I'm just going to keep doing the chasing method till I get to the front. I'm going to still do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to straighten out all of the hair and then come back and show you guys what's up. So this is what your hair should look like. I'm just going to go in with some conditioner because of the flyaways. So I'm trying to tame them. I'm just going to spray it around the hair and also to keep the ends of my hair healthy. So after that, I'm going to spray some olive oil on my comb again and brush the top of my hair for the flyaways. And then I'm going to go straight into installing this wig. If you don't know how to braid for shit like me, yeah, I have a video on how I lay down my hair without braiding it. So, again, I will plug it down in the description box. And then I'm just going to wear my wig, look at it, see how it looks, take it off. And then I'm going to cut the lace off. Uh, I cut the lace using a zigzag motion. And then I'm showing you how my hair looks. I'm going to wear the wig again. And I'm just checking to see if the hairline that plucked was even making any sense and actually it did i'm just going to go in with my guts to be and i'm going to spray it down on my hair and then i'm going to use a comb to control it so it doesn't run into my eyes and then i'm just going to put my wig or just put my lace on top of the parts i sprayed using my rat tail comb i'm going to take out some hair and then I'm going to go in with my guts to be again and spray it down. This is the Laurigia Andreas method. And then I'm going to take my silk edge wrap and then I'm going to tie everything down so that it is nice and it stays laid. After a while, I'm going to take that off. And as you can see, this is like a very simple install. I'm going to use this for two days. I'm going for a wedding actually. So, uh, this is just to look really nice. But after two days, it's going to come off because I wasn't doing anything extra. And then I'm going to come out my hair, try to style it a little bit to see how it looks. I'm going to straighten it again some more. Just, you know, trying to get a feel of how I actually want the wig to be. I'm going to go in with some mousse because the flyaways were terrible. So I'm going to go in with some more mousse and then I'm just going to put that over my hair. And then to make sure that my part looks as neat and unclockable, I'm going to take some of my foundation powder and then I'm just going to rub that in there so that it matches my skin or my scalp 
and the wig is looking pretty fire my install is looking pretty good my makeup is on fleek and i'm about to go and get turned at the party don't forget you know like touch up your hair with a hot comb to make everything flat and that is the end of this video i love you guys and i will see you in my next video don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe